Today we have very interesting theme. We suggest you to be engaged in imitation of lace and to create in this technique an amazing background for the equipage works. Today, in the program, we have a pair of clocks and a plate in the technique of reverse decoupage. We very much hope that the offered themes will interest you, and when you study them, you will create a lot of your unique handmade masterpieces. Hello, my name is Natasha Fochtina, and I'm glad as always to welcome you in our studio. Today we have the most interesting lesson. We will be engaged in lace imitation. I agree with you that there is no better thing than the real lace. But, in my opinion, to use it in a decor of surfaces of a various home decoration is a quite expensive pleasure. And technological process of decoration by lacy elements is very laborious. It's necessary to glue, to give a coat of varnish and then somehow to look after this thing that it won't become dirty. After all, the clocks or decorative plate can be washed. Though the pieces of the real lace can be used also for decoration with a stencil method. But I run ahead. Let's understand it first, how a lace can help us with our paint and varnish researches, and what its properties are necessary for us. So, the lace is a decorative element created from a fabric and threads. The general scene of all kinds of a lace are holes of different diameters between threads which form a pattern. These holes will help us in our work and also beauty and the originality of the drawing. After all, there are a lot of kinds of the lace. Woven on the bobbins, woven with a shuttle frivolité, sewed needle, nodule macrame, needle, needles and crochet. All this variety and beauty take the breath away. And all this we can use, have the charming patterns on wooden, glass and other surfaces, which we like with the help of acrylic paint or relief paste. As this seam is new, I haven't prepared any expensive lace. We will work with accessible materials. For example, to make here such clock, I suggest use a vinyl openwork napkin. This product isn't scarce in our market, and it's cheap enough, considering that one napkin will suffice for long, if after the work you decide to wash it up and dry. It was simple. After all, we will put the drawing using the acrylic relief paste. In this work, there is nothing difficult. Put a napkin, put over it using pellet knife a paste, and as a result, have an amazing and original thing. Look at this charming clock with a lace. In my opinion, it looks very gently and romantically. I pay you attention that the lacy drawing here is made also very simply. This time I've decided to use a paper openwork napkin for a dessert, which I used as a ready stencil. There is no sense here to work with a relief paste, it's heavy for a paper, in the course of drawing we won't have an accurate print. Therefore, we apply an acrylic paint, but it shouldn't be liquid. Otherwise, again, we won't have an accurate drawing. And also, this clock is decorated in the decoupage technique. This dial is cut out from a rice paper, and from the top are glued the poppies, which have been cut out from a paper three-layer napkin. In my opinion, the decoupage with the lace looks very elegantly. The effect of a lacy print looks even more interesting in the technique of a reverse decoupage. Look at this plate, which I have made as a unit to this clock. The lace under glass looks nothing worse than in this variant. 
As you know, at a reverse decoupage, we work as well as in usual, but the sequence of operations changes. When we decorate the clock, at first we ground a surface, then we make a lacy fragment and glue the decoupage motifs. And with the plate all on the contrary. At first we glue the decoupage motif. Then we put the lacy drawing and already in the end we apply a colorful background. I think you have paid attention that the lacy fragment on this clock and on the plate is identical. This is the open work paper napkins for a desert. So, we begin. To make such black and white clock, we need to prepare. Plywood half-finished product with an advanced drilled hole under a clockwork. A vinyl openwork napkin. Pay attention that the holes on it will be procaved, in other words, through. Also, we need black acrylic ground, relief acrylic paste, rubber pallet knife, the dial which has been cut out from a rice paper, acrylic paint of white color and one-step crackler. I'm sure that there won't be any complexities in work. After all, the process of making of this clock is very simple. We take our plywood preparation polished by an emery paper and densely coat it with black acrylic ground. If you will think that one layer isn't enough, I advise not to be greedy and paint the surface once again. We dry this layer well and to pass to lace drawing. At first we need to cut out a paper circle to protect a place where you assume, later on, to place a dial and to fasten it on a double-sided adhesive tape to the grounded preparation. And only then we put a vinyl openwork napkin. By the way, you can also fasten it using the pieces of a double-sided adhesive tape to a paper circle. Only don't glue on the grounded surface, otherwise you will damage a lacy print. Now is the most interesting. We take acrylic relief paste and read the instruction for use. This paste can put on a surface in the pure form or to be painted after drying. In the given variant it's not necessary for us. Though, I advise necessarily to pay attention to this remarkable property of the given material. Paste is put on a surface by means of the rubber spatula or pallet knife. Then, sometime from 10 till 30 minutes, depending on the thickness of a layer, is sustained and it dries up also depending on the thickness of a layer from 1 till 5 hours. If you want to make paste more durable, add in it some of the acrylic varnish. It just happened to come up. I worked wonderfully without a varnish, in other words, have put the paste using the rubber spatula on the surface. As a result, I had 2 mm layer and in 10 minutes I have removed an openwork napkin from preparation and have left the product on drying at 5 hours. As soon as paste will dry up, you can form a dial and finish the work with clock. As we grounded the surface with black acrylic, I've decided to make a dial with crackle cracks. For this purpose, it's necessary to take one step crackle varnish, to apply it on the surface, to dry well, and then to apply by a brush depth to depth the white acrylic paint. We dry our cracks and glue on them with white glue the dial, which has been cut out from a rice paper. And after all these manipulations, we will only need to coat the product with a finishing varnish and to fix the clockwork with hands, that the plywood with a lacy decor become the clock.
By the way, if you decided to use a real lace and want to make by it the stencil drawing, you need to do the preliminary work on knit fixation. It's completely not difficult. Take a lace piece, dip it in the white glue and put on glass or on plastic for drying. As soon as glue will dry up, you can safely apply a paint on a thick lacy stencil. And do it easily, as the print will be accurate. To make here such nice clock, it's necessary very few materials. We prepare the plywood preparation with the hole under a clockwork. White and red acrylic paints, white glue, the brushes, the dial cut out from a rice paper, a paper three-layer napkin with puppies, paper openwork napkin for a dessert and foam rubber. We will transfer our lace on the product using a method Tupovka. So, we take the plywood preparation. It's necessary to use an emery paper that the surface become even and smooth. Then, instead of a ground, we apply the layer of white glue on it, dry and paint with white acrylic. And after the drying of a white paint layer, at once we pass to drawing of lacy drawing. We take our paper dessert napkin, put to a decorated surface and apply on it the red acrylic paint. We do it by a piece of foam rubber and try to dry it on a paper before applying paint, otherwise the lace edge will blur. Movements by foam rubber should be accurate, from top to down, we as though drive in the drawing. It's not necessary to smear or rub the paint, all the same it will turn out nothing. After the applying of a red paint, we remove at once a paper stencil, that it won't get soaked and won't glue to the surface, otherwise our work will be spoiled. Further, we dry this paint layer well, and then we glue with white glue our dial from a rice paper, and over it the motif with puppies pulled out from a three-layer paper napkin. After all decor will dry up, we will need to apply our preparation by a finishing varnish, to fix in it a clockwork, to fasten the hands and to decorate with such wonderful clock our home. By the way, if you want to decorate with a lacy decor anything, but you haven't time for work with paste or acrylic, use a rice paper with already put drawing. 
This variant is the easiest. Take any surface and glue to it with white glue your lace. Don't forget, if you work in the technique of the reverse decoupage, glue a rice paper from back side on the plate underside. I advise to try in this way off a lacy decor, though it's simple but looks amazingly. If you decide to make a complete to clock such decorative plate, prepare for work an alcoholic solution to an oil glass surface, white and red acrylic paints, a paper openwork dessert napkin, foam rubber, white glue and the motif with poppies pulled out from a three-layer paper napkin. It's quite enough to make the handmade charming thing. We take our anoil plate and glue on it the fragment which has been pulled out from a three-layer paper napkin by white glue. I remind that before gluing the napkin motif, we separate from it two unnecessary layers and glue only top with drawing. And as this work is made in the technique of reverse decoupage, we glue our decor drawing away from ourselves. Here so, coating using a brush with glue from top. We dry well the glued drawing and pass to lace drawing. We need to put our dessert napkin to the plate and accurate, but neatly, without smearing to apply on it a red paint. We coat with paint all surface, because this color will be background, in other words, the main. Don't forget, right after paint drawing, to remove a paper lace stencil. If not to do it, it will get soaked and will stick ugly pieces to the product surface, and it's not necessary for us, as after the drying of this layer, we apply a white paint on all surface of the plate. And here the magic happens, our lace is burned. It's possible to stop at this stage and to finish the work, coat the plate back side with a finishing varnish. But I suggest fix the decor better to avoid the appearance of scratches on the surface. In my opinion, a pseudo-rice paper gives the best fit to decor fastening in a reverse decoupage. It's necessary to take one layer from a three-layer white paper napkin. To put it to the product, cover the paint layers and to glue from above with white glue by a flat synthetic brush. We dry glue well, coat the surface with a finishing varnish and admire qualitatively made thing and an amazing lacy decor.
It seems to me that for today you have enough information about the methods of imitation of LAs on various surfaces. I am sure that you had already a lot of ideas about how and where you can apply the skills got in this program, and that you in a short time will create a lot of the most interesting handmade things. And if you haven't any ideas now, simply try yourself in this technique and make something similar to our today's clock or plate. This work, by all means, will give to you pleasure, and in your hope there will be new and beautiful things, and then they will appear in homes of your friends and acquaintances and will please them. It turns out that the formula of making people happy is very simple. A few paint, glue and a varnish, a plywood or cardboard piece, and all it we multiply by cheerfulness, goodwill and generosity of the soul. Everything that you do for others, both good and bad, comes back to you on a large scale. Also, that fact that you can't understand many things and explain the words, for example, what is offside in football, isn't important. The main thing that you love the one to whom it's interesting, and even the one who gets to it. Also, be tolerant. After all, your special someone will not understand at once what for all this imitation of a lace is necessary. But you remind him about the laces of attacks and imitation of traumas. Remember, only one word can unite you. Love to football, to needlework and to each other. Create, love and play football and give gifts. On it me, Natasha Fochtina, say goodbye to you to new ideas. Good luck and goodbye.